What's going on, Imperials? It's Emperor Cubone here. Ever since DC Movies decided to build a shared universe, it's fair to say that audiences have been... underwhelmed, to say the least. But there was a shining light on the horizon that gave fans hope, and that was the prospect of a Wonder Woman film. Wonder Woman has always been one of the big three DC characters, being instantly recognizable, even to people not well versed in the comic book lore. But for all her fame, she has never before had her own feature film. True, she did appear shortly in Dawn of Justice, but this was her first proper story focused solely on her. Wonder Woman is a period piece about a hero that is moved by their selfless desires to help others and even though they are constantly underestimated by those in charge, they march into the thick of battle to prove themselves. Once their enhanced strength proved invaluable, they bring together a group of diverse, charismatic men with unique skills to help them achieve their mission. After infiltrating an enemy compound where highly advanced weapons of destruction are being created, they launch a final assault on the factory where the hero fights in a showdown against a rival with equal power. In the end, the male protagonist sacrifices himself in a plane in order to save the day, and the hero ends up in the modern day. Wait, wait a minute. I think I've been using the wrong pictures. Well, no, not really, but yes, those weren't from Wonder Woman, but the story fits exactly the same. Is that bad? Not really. Personally, I believe Captain America The First Avenger to be one of the most underrated Marvel films out there. If you liked Wonder Woman, then you should like the first Captain America, and vice versa. Many movies are the same, but I don't believe that to be to Wonder Woman's detriment. If DC is trying to emulate Marvel anyway with the whole shared universe idea, why not make movies of varying settings and tone? One of the reasons people were so excited for a Wonder Woman movie was because all the promotional material made it seem hopeful and bright, like she wouldn't be depressed and brooding the whole time which is a common complaint among the previous DC movies in the line. And it was true! The tone of this movie seemed deliberately different from all the ones that came before. There was intentional comedy in this movie. Whether all of it landed or not is not important. The point is that they tried. This movie purposefully set itself apart from its brethren, which really helped to broaden its appeal. Wonder Woman, as a character, seemed much more likable and relatable than everyone else that came before because everything that she did was motivated by a selflessness and a sense of wanting to help people. None of it came from selfish ambition, and having a selfless hero is a refreshing change of pace. I've heard some people say that they might like to go back and watch Batman vs Superman now that they've seen Wonder Woman, to see what she did there in a new light. And that's something that DC has yet to understand. If your audience becomes invested in the individual characters, they'll have more reason to care when they come together. As of the Justice League movie, we'll have met one and a half of the team members. Everyone wants to copy Marvel, but nobody wants to do it right. Everybody wants what Marvel has now. Name recognition with a built-in fan base for a franchise that's pretty much guaranteed to make a billion dollars a year. But that didn't happen overnight. It took a lot of planning and years to pull off. Instead of taking their time, everyone is rushing through and cramming in as much as possible, and it really shows. And frankly, I'm tired of letting my brain trick me into believing that I don't like stories about these characters. Because I do! The story for Injustice 2 basically boils down to Superman fighting Batman, but it was so much better than the movie version. It was done in a way that was engaging, touching, entertaining, and true to character for everyone. They achieved balance in a way that the movies either staunchly refuse to, or are simply incapable of doing. Except for Wonder Woman. The color alone in this movie lifted it above any other DCEU film. The opening scenes on Themyscira were beautiful and vibrant, showing us more color and light in the first 15 minutes than the last three DC movies combined. There is merit in giving the majority of creative control to one person, but before you invest so heavily into that, you should really wait and see if that's the vision that audiences want to see. So, what does Wonder Woman mean for the DC Extended Universe? 
Hopefully, its critical and commercial success will help to push DC films in a direction that puts emphasis on making characters that respect the source material, but also show us the reason that they deserve to be considered heroes in the first place. I'm still concerned about the Justice League movie, because they were already way too far down that rabbit hole for anything about Wonder Woman to change it at this point. The simple truth about my reservations is that I've seen better versions of Superman. I've seen better versions of Batman. I've seen better versions of The Flash. But this being the first live-action Wonder Woman movie ever? They had to get her character just right. And they did! No matter any problems you might have with side characters or plot, the character of Diana remained true to who she's always been. So, ultimately, I hope that's how Wonder Woman will affect the DCEU. By reminding those in charge that these characters are beloved for a reason, and you don't have to change them drastically just to keep the audience's attention. Regardless of what may happen, Wonder Woman certainly delivered, and has shown that if the DC Extended Universe can learn to keep pushing in this direction, there's still hope yet. How do you feel about the DC Extended Universe? Are you still hesitant after Wonder Woman, or are you more on board? Let me know down in the comments. Also be sure to leave a like, share this video, and subscribe so that you too can become an Imperial today. And we'll see you around next time!